Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text behind any object in your video. For this, we are going to use two methods. First is using qualifier and second is using masking. So let's start. Right now, I'm in a edit mode and here I have a video of girl on trekking. My main aim is to add text behind this girl. So our main object in this video is this girl. If you can notice, other than girl, we have totally two different colors, a lighter color sky and a darker color of land and the girl. So now let's start. Copy this video and paste it on the timeline on video track 3, leaving the middle track for the text. Now to add text, go to effects window, select this toolbox, expand it and go to titles. In titles, you have to select basic title. Now drag this text and place it on the video track 2. Adjust the length of this text and done. Remember we are not going to perform any editing on the video on track 1. So now let us select the video on track 3 and go to colors tab. Now in color tab from the toolbar that is present in the middle of screen you have to select qualifier. It will display the qualifier menu. Now at this right side you have different type of color picker like HSL which selects color by hue, saturation and luminance. Next color picker is RGB which picks color by red, green and blue. Next is luminance and the last one is 3D. We are more interested in the 3D color picker as this provides better result than others. As soon as you select the 3D color picker, it will activate the qualifier in the preview window. Now what you have to do is press the left mouse button and drag it over the sky as if you want to cover the whole sky. Now to see what portion of the video you have selected, just click this highlight. It will show you that entire sky in the frame has been selected. But wait, we are interested in retaining this ground portion. So what we have to do is invert the selection. To invert selection, we have to click on this invert icon present here. Now zoom into your video, you can notice still the traces of sky are present near our character. So what we have to do is set this pre-filter to minimize the traces and this clean black. Both the attributes will help in minimizing the traces of sky near our character. Doing this, the last thing that we have to do is go to the notes tab and right click over here and click on add alpha output. It will add a small blue circle over here which you have to connect with this node. This alpha output ensures that anything that's within our selection will be transparent revealing the text underneath. Now just go back to edit mode now we have to fix this text. Click on the text, go to inspector panel, in title, write the text of your choice. You can choose the font family. You can choose the color of font. You can increase its size. If required, you can adjust the position of text. Let's play the video to see the effects. You can see that we have successfully added the text behind this girl. Now let's try this with another method that is masking. This method works better where the camera movement is limited. So here I have taken a time lapse video of Moscow Business Center. Just like previous method, we have to place the same video clip in the first and the third track of video timeline and leave the middle track for text. Now we'll add text, go to effect, toolbox, Titles and in Titles, we'll select Basic Title. Drag this text over here. In the second video track, adjust its length and done. Now select the video in track 3 and go to Colors tab. In the Colors tab from this middle toolbar, you have to select Windows icon. It will display a window menu which will offer you different types of masking options. Here you have to select Curve. Now go to Video and go on Creating Nodes. Follow the shape of the object behind which you want to add text and join the last node to the first one to complete the masking. Now we must ensure that our masking follows the movement of object in the video. To observe this, click this tracker menu and this double directed arrows here. It will play the video in forward and reverse direction to check that mask is following the movement of object in the video. In my case, the object that we masked is a still and it doesn't go out of the mask anywhere in the video. 
but in case if your object moves through the video you can adjust the masking nodes checking the video frame by frame using the left right arrow of your keyboard now above the preview window click on the highlight icon to see what portion of the video has been selected you can notice the mask portion is selected and rest of the portion is faded out now the next thing that we have to do is add alpha output so in the notes panel right click over here and go to add alpha output connect this node with the alpha output now deactivate this masking window and zoom into the video you can notice that still there are traces of sky near the building to fix this go to window and here you can adjust the softness of the object doing this much go to edit tab now we will end up setting this text so click on this text go to inspector panel here write the text that you want to display select the font family adjust the size of the font scroll down below and fix the position of the text then now let's play the video to see the effects you can notice the text has been perfectly placed behind these buildings so that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this in future please subscribe our channel as it will notify you whenever any content like this comes out feel free to comment down below and let us know what other new videos you would like to see in future hope you enjoyed this video see you next bye bye